the AI boom has run its course and it's a bubble which is about to explode. Ex what do you say? Yeah, I mean, it's a little I'm over tired of hearing about AI. If I hear about it one more time, I'm going to cry, Stuart. You don't want to see me cry. It's not pretty. But I think it's kind of like a mayor's law, right? We, you know, we get very enthusiastic about the impact of technology short term, maybe overestimate it um, and probably underestimate it long term. So I think AI is real. I think the fact that we're going to use artificial intelligence in all sorts of different industries is going to be the standard. Sure. Uh, and all, all, you know, but, like but anything, it's, it's like this it, frequently, isn't it? A, a big new thing comes along. It could be dot com in the late 1990s. Yes. Everybody piles in looking for the winners. They go to the moon and then they, not all of them, but some of them just collapse yeah. and go away. Same thing with AI. Perfect metaphor. And that's what you looked at. Like if you looked at back in 99, right? Everything we thought about the internet, we had great hopes for it. Um, and then stocks like Microsoft, which I know you love. You think about like Oracle, Cisco. Uh, all these stocks got bitted to the moon, they did. and they did nothing for a decade. Meanwhile, the Internet did change our lives dramatically. And I think that's what you're going to see here now. Like NVIDIA, that's the one stock everyone talks about. It's up almost 200% this year, but it trades for 200 times for uh, current earnings. So that means if you buy it today, you need like 200 years worth of profits to like make back on your investment. So you wouldn't be buying NVIDIA today, would it's you? It's insane. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. So no, I wouldn't buy it here today. Okay, why are you not bullish on big tech? Why? Because I think it's run its course here. I think, you know, technology, obviously long term is a great place to be, but I think in the short term, everything's gotten bid up. And again, go back to the late 90s. If you bought Microsoft in 99, for 15 years that stock did nothing. You remember. Um, you know, look at Oracle. It took till 2017 to get back to where you were from 1999 when you bought the stock. And Cisco is the biggest poster child for just buying it too high back 20 years ago. It's just back to the same price it was 20 years ago now. Yeah. So I think you have the same risk in tech right now. Yes, you do. Unfortunately, I, I own a chunk of big tech. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what I've got to do with it. I'm not quite sure, to be honest with you. Uh, Ryan, we'll thank, yeah, we talk. <laughs> uh, Ryan, thanks very much indeed.